So it's uh, Wednesday, 4th of October 2017 at 1 p.m. What? Uh, two. No, two. Huh? Two. Oh, man, something. <clears throat> so I gotta test this um, volume of sound. So it sort of seems to be working. <coughs> I, what I did was I changed the, uh, I pulled the plug out of this USB hub and put it in the main hub because I think maybe there's some interference coming from here. So, so it sounded more clear when I checked. Oh, it's 1.43, I, I, I uh, took a shower and yeah. I think I've got to wear something underneath because <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, showing the nipples. I don't know if that's a good idea. So I'm going to probably wear some, I'll wear that white color singlet thing. I'll wear that one. Oh, anyway, <laughs> oh shit, I gotta get this out. So I got up today at 6 a.m. Um, you know, I, I've been doing my time management thing, like recording it properly this, this week. Uh, I did my voice practice, I prepared the veggie stew. I uh, also did some job search for half an hour. Uh, so feel so far things have been somewhat productive um, so yeah I, I didn't put any oil in my hair but my hair was already oily <clears throat> because um, I think because I put coconut oil in the morning even maybe when I put my hair back some of the oil from my face or hands is going to my hair so you know well, maybe that's what's happening yeah, that's what's happening. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wearing a skirt thing, you know, skirt thing like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta fix my makeup and uh, my makeup box is still here. In fact, I'll use this, uh, I'll use this one. Mm. Yeah. They can cut you. They can cut the skin. Oh no. Where's my foundation? Oh man, I put it in my bag. I left my foundation in my bag. I need to wear a lipstick today. I don't think I need to wear a lipstick. So I've been very disciplined with my diet. Uh, I'm very happy with uh, the fact that I've been continuously disciplined for more than, more than two weeks now. So it's sort of like becoming a routine. Yeah. I also changed my morning routine a bit where um, I do my grooming and everything before I eat my breakfast. Yeah. I'm a bit anxious about going and seeing my employment consultant because last time I didn't go to my class and I didn't go to the volunteer work or that day I missed. And I also only applied for 10 jobs instead of 16. I actually mentioned that to her in the email. So I let, I let her know. Sorry, uh, wait. Wait, wait, it looks kind of yellowish. Maybe I 
should try a different fan. You know, this is a shop called DTE Organics, and uh, <coughs> they sell organic stuff, makeup, uh, skincare products. That's where I buy the Dr. Brothers soap. I think I want to purchase from them. Uh, you know, I, I want to get an oil. There's this Jojoba oil, which is a, a, a you know, maybe, maybe I'll get some coconut oil. I already have coconut oil, but I want to try some oil as a moisturizer. Um, so there's a cleanser, there's a toner, there's a moisturizer. Uh, so I use moisture, I use coconut oil as a moisturizer. I use my Dr. Bronner's soap as a cleanser. I haven't been using a toner, but I did order a rose water toner. It hasn't come yet. I've been, I've been putting the um, bio oil before I go to sleep. I put a bit of bio oil to deal with that, uh, you know, the scars, all those, uh, the pigmentation from the electrolysis. And uh, yeah, oh, I saw a video where this person said that um, the Dr. Bronner's, if you use that as a cleanser, it tends to dry the skin, and I've noticed that that my skin does dry. That, that so I have to I have to dilute the um, Dr. Bronner's soap with water, and I want to get one of those um, what do you call a lotion bottle? You know, like a, a glass. A glass lo lotion bottle so I can dilute the uh, Dr. Bronner's with some water uh, and that should be help with the um, you know, and I can also save up on that Dr. Bronner's because I don't because I use it to wash my hands and I don't need a lot of strength because it's really strong like it's 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 it's, it's all pure soap right so it's you don't need a lot to wash your hands so I, I want to try and get one of those lotion bottles so I can dilute it. Uh, uh, this is pretty good. Next time I'm gonna tell her to do also um, do some electrolysis on the hairs on on here, on the sides, so we can work on that as well. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's important to get rid of those. Mm. <sighs> Just don't feel like I'm. No, I don't feel like I'm putting enough coverage. <laughs> I should try a different foundation, one of those organic foundations. Let me try it. In the front part, there's barely any hair, except on this side there is wet. So my electrolysis is on <coughs> Monday. So. Oh, I did have a telephone interview yesterday, but uh, it's for that coach, uh, the marketing assistant, you know, that coach brand. I don't know. I never heard of them. <laughs> Apparently, they're an iconic brand. Uh, so I had a six minute interview. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think I made a good impression because I, I was like lying in bed resting and, and the phone rang and I was like, and I did voice practice yesterday and my voice was very like, uh, I couldn't barely speak properly. It's like, uh, totally unexpected phone call. And, uh, I don't know, maybe it's my fault. Not being ready. I should be ready. Oh, my dog on this box. Oh, God. This is so annoying. I don't think I'll ever have a pet. Because pets are a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of responsibility. I don't think I'll be having a pet. 
oh, I don't have a pet now, but you know, the future. I don't even do anything to take care of the dog. But the <laughs> my brother takes it for a walk. My mom feeds it. <sighs> I'm still like, why did my... drive the car because my mom cannot drop me yes. <sighs> my niece is here so she's got to take care of her so I take big so so I have to drive the car and I hate it I hate I hate it I hate it I hate driving I want to get this potting right in the middle like in the middle, that's where I want my hair to part. I shouldn't want to comb it too much because it's... Uh... Wet. <clears throat> yeah, I should wear that... Um... I should wear that white colored thing, you know. The... I should wrap this underneath. Mm. Uh, I gotta go soon, so uh, uh, uh. oh shit, there's my colleague. <laughs> I do have to pace myself because after I uh, did my after I prepared my veggies too, I, I slept for about sixty minutes. Got up, did my voice practice, and did my job search. Took a shower, so I, so I can I have to take a break. Otherwise, I just get so tired. Sometimes it's just mental tiredness. You know, it's just a mental thing. You, you just feel depressed sometimes. You know, it's hard to get going. Uh, you know. <sighs> okay, I better get going. And, uh, yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I'm so disdainful. <laughs> See, it's kind of summer. Well, it is. Oh, well, that's not summer. It's uh, spring. Mm, spring. Mm, I hate driving. Oh, oh, shit, it's so hot in here. So hot. Oh, I gotta shave here. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, I got I haven't shaved in such a long time. There's some hair here. There's not a lot of hair, but there's some. <laughs> yeah. I gotta do electrolysis on that. But I'll do that after. I deal with the hair. Oh, oh on my face. My lips are gonna dry. Should I have drunk some water? Oh, uh, all right, I gotta get going. Gotta get going. Okay, it's about 2.16 p.m. I've got about 14 minutes to get to my employment consultant. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I, I've noticed that ever since I've been washing my face in the morning and evenings, I haven't go gotten any of those new um, pimples. Like, that was the last one I got. So washing your face is a very good thing. It, it helps prevent <laughs> acne. Acne. It 
it's so hot in here. But. Well, she did one of those lip balm things. Cause my lips get dry. She definitely get one of those. So my employment consultant is so nice. <sighs> She's really nice. Um, so I told her about the fact that I couldn't apply for jobs, and she goes, "Oh, that's all right." Yeah. She said, "She said I, I know you're honest and." <laughs> You're pretty good. Usually, wanted to say it's just you know you see you try to stay on top of things, and if it, if you miss it once or twice, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, so she she was okay with the uh, applying for the you know failed to apply for the. I told her you know. Anyway, so she's very understanding, but when I went in there, my previous employment consultant was in the customer service area and uh, I was like oh my god oh my god but I asserted myself when I went there and, and I asked the um, receptionist I'd like to see so-and-so I have an, you know, I have an appointment with so-and-so at 2 30 and you know I don't know something inside me just sort of like became assertive it's like I don't know. assertive or yeah combative <laughs> <laughs> assertive all right so I'm gonna go home now and uh, so there was a I was so anxious and nervous but she's very nice and understanding I'm going to go home now all right.